Now the retarder's off at the moment. It will not sleep, okay. Right, there's a good chance I'll be reading chat and driving and I'll miss this bloody rest stop, so... If you see it, <laughs> please let me know if I, if I don't indicate, let me know. You did this trip yesterday. Ah. Was the weather like this when you did it? This, this is a trip through the desert. Engine brake still on? I don't think so. No, I've tried it. Doesn't feel like it. I mean, if I put the retarder on, you get a little yellow light there, you see it? So, yeah, you can tell that way. It's good to know, isn't it? What's better, Iveco or Mantrux? Um, I can't give you that answer yet. I've driven the Mantrux, it's not bad. This Iveco is not doing too badly at the moment, so. I kind of feel like an equal footing at the moment. Rain in the desert, best thing ever. Yeah, well let's bear two things in mind. Firstly, SCS didn't write this mod, this is an independent mod. Uh, so the desert, the game doesn't know it's a desert. And secondly, rain is just a probability. And that's one of the things I've suggested that SCS should do. Is they should make it so that modders can specify the weather conditions in a particular part of the map. So the guy who wrote this could say that the rain probability is, you know, 0.1% or something. Whereas currently it's just a menu option, rain probability across the entire map. This is a steep climb again. This is a steep climb. What does this look like from the outside? Oh, look at my lights! No wonder people are flashing me. <laughs> it's pretty epic weather. Look at that truck! Like, if I break now, he's going in the back of me. Why can he pull up here? No problem when I'm struggling. That's not right, is it? Are you going on holiday? Uh, no, because I'm only going to get a week off. If I donate, would I get besides, obviously, the pleasure of rewarding you for giving my much enjoyment? Uh, if you donate, you're just supporting my stream and you get to put a message on the screen. Um, if you subscribe, when I get that button, that's a different story. Get the wipers off. Wow, suddenly picking up a ton of speed. Put the auxiliaries on. Are oh, they not on? They kind of feel like they're on. Oh, they're not on. Bloody hell. Good move, good move. Oh, shit, look at this. Bloody hell. Delivery from Scam206. Paul, are you paying too much for your HTV insurance joke? What happens when the Queen comes first? Whoa, what's going on here? I just got shunted from behind by a truck. Did you hear that? I missed the joke then because I, the engine started freaking out. And then I got shunted from the truck behind me? Wow. I'm sorry I just missed your gag, I'll try and read it in a second. Did you notice how he hit me? And he probably didn't get fined for that. SCS didn't uh, reply, no. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. How much money do you get from your donations and what are you using for? Um, all the donations apart from your PayPal deductions go straight to me. I use it to buy equipment and stuff to do this, and I'm also using it to basically save up to buy games to give away, give away other games when I get my subscription button, and finally I'm using it to essentially put to one side so that I can do this full time in the near future, so all of those things. I don't spend it on myself as such, I either spend it on improving my game, my stream, 
um, giveaways for you guys, which obviously uh, is right and proper. And then finally, so that, like I say, I can do this full time one day. I'm really messing up the gears through those big hills. Good grief. What happens when a queen wins a competition? She wins a castle. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, that's not too bad, actually, as, as cracker jokes go. That's not too bad. What are you making an office tour video? Uh, very, very soon. So, here's how it goes for me over the next few weeks. A week on Friday, I finish my job because I resigned. <laughs> then I've got a week off. During that week off, I shall be um, possibly going visiting Chris and Shannon if we arrange something and also making a video of my gaming studio as I call it now. So I've had a few names for this place. Dedicated Gamer Room. That's yeah, a nice mood, isn't it? Dedicated Gamer Room. Um, gaming bunker because the damn thing's made out of concrete because it's a converted garage uh, and I've now called it a gaming studio because I think that sounds like I've, it's upgraded and posh <laughs> whatever you want to call it I'll be doing a video of it anyway so I'll take you over my my whole room you know where I sit steering wheel all the equipment I've got microphone uh, the streaming PC uh, my new PC hey look I've got damage to my truck can you see that? My wheels are damaged. That little git ran me from behind and damaged my truck. Unbelievable. I've got to pay for that. It's been called a man cave, but not a M-A-N cave. It should be called Scania something, shouldn't it? Scania Central. <laughs> Squirrel's Not Hut. <laughs> yeah, I like it. That's a good one. Man cave sponsored by Scania. I should get something like a little uh, a little plaque with like Squirrel's Nut Hut on it or a Scania logo or something. I should get something like that over the door. I look quite funny. Do you like the Iveco Highway? I think it's okay. Um, I'm not minding it too much. You missed the accident. It was when I was going up a steep hill. I just kind of got uh, shunted from behind. You know that truck behind me was always about two meters behind me. I slowed down up a hill, it just shunted straight into the back. Scania Nuthouse, powered by a squirrel. <laughs> yeah, I should get a Scania logo though, shouldn't I, on that steering wheel. That's a good point, actually. I wonder if you can get those made up. I like a little circular disc. That'd be cool to get a little Scania logo. Actually, I could get my squirrel logo though, couldn't I? Five dollars for a special delivery. Yep, that's the same price as a large coffee from Starbucks. And people buy those every day. Or the price of a Big Mac and fries. It's not that much. It's up to you. I don't mind if you don't if you don't want to send it to the reads. It's entirely your choice. It really is. <coughs> you could easily get that made, mate. Yeah, but where? People are asking for stickers and stuff, and I, I don't have anywhere that makes stickers. But it's not just the fact I don't want to just be able to order stickers, I can do that. I want them to print the stickers out and send them to people because I don't want to get involved in doing all the packaging and stuff. Ah, uh, is the rest stop coming up? There's a rest stop coming up here, just to the left, bizarrely enough. As nice as that moon is, I'm going to pull in here and get this night over with. I just hope this doesn't make me late for my delivery. Yes, I've seen the thousand concept truck. Yep. I don't think we need fuel, we'll just go straight through to the rest area, I think. Look, there's never anybody behind the tills. Who takes your money off you? These lights are ridiculously powerful. I whacked up an absolute ton of lights on the top of the roof. There we go. Right. Parking brake. Neutral. Engine off. And rest. Woohoo! Daylights. 
Engine on. Lights off. I think we should just be able to just get straight out here. Park your brake off. I think we've got enough clearance. Whoa! Hello! Does anybody see that? Pressing all the wrong buttons here. Look at that! A crashed plane! What the actual hell? Wait a sec. I gotta detach my trailer and go and have a look at this. Nothing coming down here, it's just a dead end. I bet it stops us here somewhere. How far can we drive down here, do you reckon, before it's going to hit the edge of the map and say, No! Holy cow! Put the beacons on. I knew I'd put something on. I bet it won't let me drive down here. It's just going to hit a solid, invisible wall. You watch. There you go. <laughs> I knew it. Stupid game. You'd think you just put some barriers up there and then you'd know not to damage your truck, but no. I can't believe this. Let's pull up here and have a quick look on the outside. So that is a full-on... A full-on smash. Crashed aircraft, which I've never seen. In Eurotruck before, so this is clearly unique to um, TSM. That's insane. Why has nobody been and cleaned it up? There could be bodies in there and stuff. It's pretty impressive. Highly unexpected, I did not expect that. Did you hear that? It sounded like my um, engine make is making some weird noises now since I hit that invisible wall. Need to pick my trailer back up. I should be able to pick it up from this angle. Not. There we go. Whoops, wrong button. Derp. I love the way it subtly just clamps it onto the tra truck. There we go. Well, that was fun. I only stopped here for some fuel. Well, I rest. <laughs> the things you see in the Sahara Desert, eh? Fuel station right next to a crashed jumbo jet. Well, your gaming rig makes me jealous. Whoops. Sorry. Is he letting me out? Of course he's not letting me out. Is he letting me out? I can't even see him anymore. I just hope he's letting me out. I think we're in the Sahara, if you look where we are. We're on the north coast of Africa, so we're going up to Tangier. So if you want to know where that was to visit it, it was that fuel station between Tangier and Ouijda. However you say that, I have no idea. But that's where it is. I have heard about the crash planes in the TSM, but it's the first one I've actually seen. Live on stream with you guys. <laughs> You missed the Renault. Well, I put the videos on YouTube if you want to go and watch them back again if you really like the Renault that much. How do you get the map? You download the TSM 3.5 mod. So, go over to my YouTube channel and the last few videos are the Renault truck and a helicopter just flew over. Wow, the things you see in this game, eh? Is he going to crash? He's going to crash into that town. What the hell? 
No, he's just gonna do. He's just gonna buzz the town. Can you imagine living there and having a helicopter fly past your window? I think there's a law against that kind of thing. <clears throat> Streaming for about an hour, I think. I don't know what it is. It's a very low resolution textured building. I mean, seriously, look how bad the textures are on that. The very low resolution, that's awful. It looks okay from a distance, but when you're up close, bloody hell. Could they not put better textures in than that? Um, sorry, the CSM, go to my latest videos on with my stream on the Renault. And um, in the video description, the helicopter's coming back! Shit, he's a nutter! That guy is an absolute nutter! In the video description is a link to TSM. I don't recommend you use it on your main profile because it will lock your profile into TSM. So I recommend you start a new profile first. So here's the two things you can do with TSM. Firstly, I don't recommend you drop it in and enable it on your current profile. Consider that your career profile, yeah? Because if you lock TSM in as soon as, as ETS updates, you won't be able to play it until they get a working TSM out, so consider that. So two options that you have. One option is to create a profile, a new profile, like uh, and then drop your TSM into that and just play on that. That means you'll start again with the Africa, Spain, Denmark map TSM. The other option is you start a new profile with TSM enabled and apparently that will give you mucho mucho money like I've got now so it'll give you a buttload of money so you've got the options delivery from look at that cargo train Mr. Grimes HD are you in HD? Mr. Grimes HD no message no message that's the first blank message I've ever had Thank you for your support, sir, but why didn't you put a message in? You should have said something, even if it was just hi. <laughs> Did you forget? <laughs> Best joke ever. I think he wrote a really funny joke, but he wrote it in white, so we couldn't see it. Are you going to play World of Tanks? Um, I already do play World of Tanks. I've not played it for a few weeks, but... If you go to my channel, there are some videos on World of Tanks. One of the, one of the funny ones is when I take a Matilda out. Well, not take one out, as in I drive a Matilda and take loads of people out with it. Dude, seriously, if you're going to over... Why is he indicating right, you freaking moron? Look at him! You don't overtake... What the hell? That's curious. He overtook me and indicated right all the way. Is that an AI bug? That's not right. Okay, how do you become a mod? The way you become a mod is not asking to become a mod. Uh, so, basically, I pick mods, and uh, if you want to become a mod, the best way to do it is just be in the channel, in the stream, every time I stream, and be seen to be really helpful, uh, in the stream in any way you can and hopefully one of the other mods will basically notice that and then he'll have a chat with me and say if you're looking for mods this guy is always in your stream and he's really nice and he's helpful blah 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 and then I'll ask you do you want to become a mod that's how it works play World of Tanks I want to play a game with you on it <laughs> So let me get this straight, you don't want me to play World of Tanks so that you can watch me play World of Tanks. You want to play World of Tanks so that I can play with you. <laughs> How much does this game cost? Uh, I think it's £25. Um, full price. But it's always on some deal somewhere. I think it was 75% off in the Steam sale at one point. Good evening, new and old viewers. Yeah, good evening if you've just joined the stream or you've joined recently, by the way. We're taking a forklift truck over to Spain. We're going via Gibraltar. We're taking a little trip over from Gibraltar. I think we may be approaching Gibraltar due to buy all these containers here. We must be getting near the, uh, the ferry now. 
Squirrel planning to play DCS World. Uh, don't know much about DCS World at the moment, so I can't actually say. Yeah, summer sales, it, it dropped to an insane price in the summer sale. Lowest I've ever seen it. But, you know, if places like Gamers Gate, uh, they often do discounts on it. They often do a 50% off deal. Do you like bikes? Do you mean motorbikes? Yes, I do. I think I've probably driven at least... Ridden at least 60,000 miles on motorbikes. Which is a hell of a lot. It's a hell of a lot for a motorbike rider, that. Not for a courier, obviously, but for a normal, average motorbike rider, 60,000 miles is quite a bit. That's only an estimate. It could be more than that. I'm being conservative, to be honest. Right, here we are. We're in Tangier. Speed limit is 60, so I should shave a bit of speed off. Do you watch MotoGP? I used to. I used to watch Superbikes as well, but... Like a lot of things, I don't get a lot of TV time these days, so I don't tend to see a lot. Well, there you go, ETS2 is $14.99 at game. There you go, if you want the game, get over to game now and buy it. Do you have Train Sim 2013? I do, but Train Sim 2014 is due out very shortly. And I was considering, and I quote, considering playing it and streaming it. Um, but I honestly don't know... I honestly don't know, and this is a question for you guys, would me playing Train Simulator 2014 be of any interest at all? Would it be interesting or not? I have pondered that. I have pondered Train Sim. I've played it. It's quite fun. But I don't know if it's something that my viewers would want me to actually play. There's a lot of yeses there, and a few noes. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's one of those things I could try, isn't it? We could try it and see... ...if the stream liked it, I guess. A lot of people say no as well. <laughs> I think most are saying yes. It's bound to be the nose. Delivery from Ryan2396 Jones. Ryan says, what accessories do you, do you what? What accessories do you use to play this game? Um, Logitech G27 steering wheel, which you can see here. And the H shifter stick and underneath the desk is the pedals. And uh, track IR, which is the head cam thing, so I can look left and look right. Gives full freedom of movements. And that, that's it. That's basically the accessories. If you get those two, this game is pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, the game's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Right, where are we going here? Over there. I see it. Delivery from Jordy Joe, 1999. Jordy Joe's at it again. Must be a pizza joke. He's found another one. Oh, it's not a joke. Are you going to play ETS 1 at any time in the future? No. I don't see any point. If anything, I was going to try out um, 18 Wheels of Steel hauling. If anything. I've heard that it's compatible with Track IR. What I don't know is how much it supports the Logitech G27. So I was considering playing the 18 wheels of steel hauling anyway. Here we are at the ferry. A pedestrian. Actually, pedestrians. A little bit more common in TSM. Handbrake, neutral, engine off. Press enter, grab a quick drink of juice. Travel time, two hours. Yeah, that's not going to be asleep. All of my specs and all of my equipment specs 
are listed below my stream. The microphones are Rode NC1A though. If you are new to my stream, um, please do scroll down and have a look. There's a lot of information in my Twitch page, um, not just about me, but my PC specs, and also the chat rules, which you really need to read. I have moderators who enforce the chat rules, so you know that way everybody can have a good time, and you don't risk yourself being timed out or even worse banned. Don't get too fast down there, because if you do, you'll smack the bottom of the truck on the ground. And that's a lot of damage. We're going right at the top. Can I keep momentum? No, I can't keep momentum, because a bloody truck came. I can keep some momentum. That's good. Better than a standing hill start. get over there a bit. What graphics card do you use is not listed? Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure my graphics card is listed. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh, it's not in gear properly. That's a bit weird. It felt like it was in gear. Uh, if the game won't let you play TSM, I'm sorry I can't help. You need to go to the TSM forums. Um, I don't... I, <laughs> I can't really sit here and give advice about people's setups and games, even though I get asked quite a bit. I am just a content creator. <laughs> That's all I am. I stream and make videos. I'm not technical support. Don't want to sound nasty, but I'm not. I'm just not. When people ask me about hardware setup, you know, what, what's the best PC under £600? I don't know. Best thing to do there is to just go to the Overclockers forum and ask people who answer that kind of question all of the time. They know a lot more about these things than I do. I'll tell you what I need to do. I need to bring up the map and work out if there are any discoverables in Gibraltar. No, it's a totally boring town. How old is your commuter? Do you mean the computer? Um... I assume you mean computer. About two to three weeks old. About two and a half, I think. Wow, those lights didn't let much through, did they? Come to think of it... Wait a sec. Where are the traffic lights here? Why are the traffic lights facing the wrong way? They're facing... <laughs> the I think somebody made a mapping error. Look at the lights on the other side of the road as well. Surely it's not meant to be like that. That's ridiculous. Do you like your mic and how much did you pay for it? Uh, the mic is... The Rode NC1A is one of the best quality mics you can get for under £300. It's cost me about £150. That comes with a, a suspension... Um, a suspension piece uh, what they call a shock a shock ring and it also comes with a pop cap filter and I don't use a filter, I use a boom in fact I can show you, hang on a sec let's just bring the mic in there you go so that's the microphone there that's the, the, um, that's the pop cap that you have to buy separately and that's the shock mount there so it goes up and down delivery from Whiteland 92 Whiteland, sir. Pizza joke. Why did, why did the pizza get all the girls? Because it's hot. <laughs> oh, did you actually write that one? Because I've never heard that pizza joke before. I'm beginning to think that you uh, you made that one up yourself, which is quite impressive if you did. So the only other thing is the, which you can't see, it's off camera, is the microphone boom arm, which is effectively a desk clamp. And then it allows my microphone to come in and just um, basically swing and hold in front of my face. 
It's quite a long boom arm, but that was 70 quid just for the boom arm. I can't see if those lights are on or not because they're bugged out again. They're all facing the wrong way in Gibraltar. There's something very strange about Gibraltar. They're all a bit weird.